you want to tell them why we're here today? Well, first of all, it's not a day. It's really more like an hour because of work. But it's Star Wars Day. It's Star Wars Day. I'm wearing my Ahsoka dress. I'm ready to go. Ahsoka dress. I'm wearing my Baby Yoda Star Wars shirt. We're going to have a fun time. Yeah, right. this is a pajama shirt. It's Okay, why do you have to tell people my business? <laughs> it was a gift that uh, happened. Pajamas. It was pajamas, but the shirt is comfortable, and you can't tell that it's a pajama shirt. He wanted to wear the pants with it. Well, it's not acceptable in most climates to wear pajamas to Disney. And it's hot, so I wore shorts. Anyway, we're pretty much just going to walk around and see what all there is to do. I don't think we're really worried about riding rides tonight. We just want to see what Disney has to offer on Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. May the 4th be with you. I'm very interested to see what the crowd level is going to be like. So I feel like if you were able to get a reservation, I mean, we got a reservation, what, like, couple months ago for today yeah I did it a, I did it in advance because I figured Hollywood Studios would just fill up today it's about there's a lot of people leaving right now mm -hmm. um, the park closes at 8 and it's about 6 30 so we'll see yeah and supposedly there are some Star Wars themed treats just for today and we're gonna see if we can get some yes <laughs> we're both incredibly excited and I'm hoping there's some cool Star Wars stuff to do. Yeah. Or even to see. Maybe they'll have more characters out or... Oh, look, they have a minivan spot. I think these are new. Oh, okay. They so, just put these in. So, they have minivan spots connected by lift. And from what I understand, the rumor is, is that's what they're going to do with the closure of the Magical Express. Is stuff like that. No, it's not. Mirrors is taking it over. No, no. Mirrors is taking over. It was you can't a can't out Disney me. I know I can't Disney. It was a rumor I heard months ago. That is obviously wrong. It's wrong. So by the way, if you do like the Ahsoka dress, go to heruniverse.com. They have a bunch of cool Star Wars stuff. Yeah. And it's all for ladies. So they have guy stuff on there too. They have guy stuff there too, but it's actually made by the voice actor of Ahsoka. It's her uh clothing line website so check it out so as it turns out all of these star wars treats that we wanted to try are at disney springs so we might head over there after we're done here and go try the what was a millennium falcon chocolate thing yeah something like that. something like that we'll see we'll see because we are basically only here for another like hour one hour and 23 minutes is how long we're here at the park um so we're gonna see what's happening and then we're gonna have a good time star tours is a 15 minute wait right now It is definitely crowded. I'm not surprised at the crowd levels. R2. That's not R2, sir. That is R. That is R5. R2 is blue, young man. Over here, they will most of the time do different have different characters like Chewbacca or Ray will come over here and say hello to people. Anyone who's been to Galaxy Edge will tell you it is a very immersive park. Like, I feel like I am part of a Star War while I'm here. And apparently there is a book that you can buy that goes into the backstory of Batu and the Galactic Outpost here. And from what I've heard from a friend of mine who has read it, it is a great book and it makes going here even more enjoyable. I might need to pick that up. I don't think I'll ever get over the view of the Millennium Falcon. I still remember the first time we came here. I came here with you. Yeah. It's actually it's a 25 minute wait. That's yeah, not bad. We were standing in line for the, the uh, merchandise. And yeah. The photo pass and stuff. They're not standing in line for the rides. So the rides are pretty open right now. Yeah. They probably probably have a lot of exclusive items today which is probably why there's a lot of people waiting in line but i don't know if we have time we might ride millennium falcon because our smugglers run out today and it's rarely ever that low yeah and the only problem with that is if you get if you don't get great people to ride with you like random people they can they can yeah. because each person plays a role on the ride and it can really mess up what you're doing like the last time we rode it it was our pilots were not good pilots but, Again, give you an idea. This whole line right here, all the way up over there by the Millennium Falcon, 
that's all for a, that's a photo pass line. I don't think I've ever seen photo pass line that long before. It's I have. You have? Yeah. Oh, well, I stand corrected. It happens at special events like making it not so scary or when they have um, a 24-hour party, things like that. Yeah, it really packs up for special events. That makes sense. So stormtroopers. The stormtroopers are out. We're gonna have a look at that. Let's pull the exit into the ship. That's really cool. I mean, I knew that already, but it's still really cool. <laughs> and right across from this ship right here is where you can get the, the blue milk and the green milk. I've had the blue milk, and the one time that I had it was actually my first time I got it at Edge. And it like felt like it sat like at the bottom of my stomach. It's it, very heavy. Very heavy. It tasted really good, but like I just felt kind of like sick in the rest of the night. But not because it was bad, just it was really heavy and it was hot. So when you mix the heaviness of the milk with the hotness of the temperature, it was not a good combination, but it tasted really good. So they also have drinks here that are like in like Star Wars themed containers, which is really cool. Like Coca-Cola and Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola and Sprite. It's really cool. This is the Joy Depot. Yes. Look, you get like a little R2D2 thing. Huh? You do or you don't? Hello. I like your Ahsoka dress. Thank you. She's my favorite. Me too. I just want to ask you this. That's where this is. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you'll get a personality chip and put it into your droid. So you kind of have your own custom droid. And you can make all the parts come out there. And then you take all the parts over here and they help you build it. And from what I've seen, it's really cool. Maybe we can do this one day. Maybe. Because you can, oh, the, so the chips are $30, three for $30. Or $15. I, but I don't know how much it is to do the full droid build. What do we have to, oh, that's cool. That is cool. It's like a little, like little AT-AT. Legs. You know what droid I wish they had here was Chopper. Yeah, I know. Yeah. If they had Chopper, I'd be in trouble. You could probably make your own Chopper one way or another. Oh, look! It's the droids from Rogue One. That's really cool. So over there they have a list of the prices. And it's $99 and then $164, depending on the differences between them. But there's a huge line to go over there. So look at what it, the cost is. So I'm not sure. I might try to sneak over there and see see what the cost. But I don't think I'll be able to. But those are different prices. I would assume you can get like a wireless. And they have some wireless controls that you can have. That's what I think it might be. But we might just look it up and see what the differences are. Alright, so now I think we're going to head to the Star Tours gift shop, um, just to see, I think it's Tatooine Traders is what it's called, and we're just going to see what merchandise they have there, if they have any Star Wars Day specific merchandise, um, and we might stop at the shop on the way out of the park too, they have a little Star Wars shop there, just to see, because it doesn't hurt to look, and uh, yeah, because all the other shops here are like stupid long waits, except for the Zora Depot. Yeah, and I think a lot of it is just the normal stuff, so I don't want to wait in line for the normal stuff that we could get whatever. Yeah. One thing I would love to do one day, but it costs like $300 is to build your own lightsaber. But that's just... That's crazy. It's a crazy amount of money. Now we're making our way into Tatooine Trader. See what they have here. So far, so far it looks like the normal merch. 
We do have a cool indoor spirit jersey. I like that. <laughs> yeah. That's the uh, the budget friendly lightsaber build. And then they also have other lightsabers over here. I doubt they will, but they They have the dark saber. Oh, they don't have Ahsoka's. Oh, okay, so this is new. They have a bunch of merchandise for the Bad Batch, which came out today. Oh, cool. And we still need to watch. But they're really, really harking on it. They got a Hondo pop figure. I like Hondo. One thing I really miss that they don't do anymore is the little Star Wars show that they would do in front of the, yeah. the Chinese theater. And I don't know if they just aren't doing it because of Mickey and Minnie's or if they're not doing it because of COVID. But it was really cool. They stopped doing it with the opening of Galaxy Edge. Oh, that makes sense. So yeah, it was really cool. Um, but I think you can still see all the characters over at Galaxy's Edge. At least I hope you can. So, I know we've seen Rey and Chewbacca and Stormtroopers. And as for the rest, I'm Oops, not sure. Where are you going? I don't know. At the front of the park. Let's see if they have any exclusive stuff. I think I think that R2D2 Spirit jer jersey is for today. Or at least just being released today. We had a special merchandise pop up today, but because we were at work we didn't make it here in time to like, yeah. get into the virtual queue and get there. So we're just kinda like trying to see what remnants we can find. Yeah. It's at stage one, which is where the Muppets store is. But it's closed right now. It's really cute. It is. Can I see it? Oh, I like that a lot. Yeah, it's very cute. How much is it? I think they're usually about seventy. Yep, seventy dollars. Uh, oh, sorry. Look, they have your leggings again. Now. That ha so they took them all away, and then now they're everywhere. So that happens because you bought this oh, when yeah. it was really rare. It took me a month to find it because they kept selling out everywhere, so, and now it's everywhere. And now it's everywhere. So they they actually discontinued these apparently. And we couldn't find them anywhere, and then we finally found them, and then now they're, and now everywhere, they're everywhere again. So, so if you really want something, just buy it, and then we'll always have it. So we'll let you know when that happens again. All right, we are now at Disney Springs, and we're going to try to to get some of the treats that are here. Specifically, I think the Millennium Falcon Falcon treat. I don't really care. I just need something. Cause I've been eating hardly anything today. So. And Brittany worked really hard at work today and forgot to eat much. You yeah, that's pretty consistent for my life. Yeah. So, we're going to see what there is here. Maybe check out the Galactic Outpost, which is the store for Star Wars stuff here. Maybe see if they have anything here that's like exclusive and let's have a good time. One thing that you, you will learn when you come to the parks a lot is each park has a different temperature. And we are under the opinion that the Hollywood Studios Park is the hottest one. Yeah, there's so many buildings you don't get a breeze. I feel like it's not nearly as hot at Disney Springs. And I understand that it probably drops maybe a degree or two, but it definitely feels like more than that. Yeah, it definitely feels a lot better. So we're going to go find these Star Wars treats. <laughs> All right, the first place on our Star Wars food tour is going to be Emirates, is what it's called? Yeah. Look, I'm sorry, this is like totally off topic. I feel like it's always Christmas in this area of Disney Springs and they're too happy with the twinkle lights. Yeah, because they have twinkle lights on the trees. These yeah. are like Florida Christmas trees. Yeah. And After uh, World of Disney, there's some more twinkle lights in the trees, and I love that. It's really nice. Okay, sorry, you can continue. It's okay. I... Emirates, that's where we're going. I think they have a Baby Yoda treat there. Now, I don't know if they're going to get it because it's pretty expensive there, but we're at least going to go look at it. One thing Disney Springs is doing right now is World of Voices Heritage Month, and then here at Amaretz, they have this Chef Jesse's Dessert the Jasmine Tea Cream Tart. All right, well, that was a bust. Yeah. They sold out. What time did she say they sold out? She said that they sold out within an hour. Within and an that hour. Tomorrow's the last day. It was a baby Yoda cake. And that if we want it, we should be here by 1030 tomorrow when they open. But, we'll but we work. both have to work. So that's yeah. not a thing. Yeah. So, oh, well. So that means it, that means they open at 1030. That means they were sold out for the day at 1130 yeah. in the morning. That's crazy. crazy. And too early for sweets. <laughs> what kind of breakfast is that? Right, well, 
on to the next place. <laughs> they may not have what we want they either. They may not. But you know what? Yeah. We're going to have a good time. We're going to look at things. There's fun music playing. It's going to be a good day. So this isn't specifically for May the 4th, but this is still relatively new. There's all these cool Lego Star Wars characters. And you got Ray right there. I'm from the Lego store. It's really cool. We're going up to the Ganachery. We gotta wait in line. And it's a long one. Alright, we are in the Ganachery. Oh yeah. There's a strawberry. And these are plastic milk chocolate. Oh, they're like making, making some treats. But what we want is over here. That's what it looks like. It has like silver dust on it. That's cool. Now the picture made it look a lot bigger, but I know we're still going to be excited to try it. And that's the back side of it. Looks delicious. All right, now let's. The head. back side of the Falcon. Like the back side of water. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm becoming delirious. It's okay. You're becoming me. I would have made a, a joke like that. No. <laughs> All right, let's try it. All right, we are ready to taste test this bad boy. It's good. Yeah. How would you describe like the type of chocolate? It's a milk chocolate. It's creamy. It's very good. Can I try a bite? Yeah. After you. All right. I just want the one bite. So let's see how this tastes. Hmm. That's really good. It reminds me of like a really good version of like the chocolate bunnies that you get on Easter. Like the yeah. chocolate quality is this really good chocolate. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. We leave all night. Yeah. It was seven dollars and with tax it was seven forty six. They do not offer um, annual pass or discount, just cast member discount at the Ganachery. But it looked really good. They had a lot of different like it was like your fancy chocolates. So it definitely looked fun. But this is really good. I'm I'm glad we got a Star Wars treat on one Star Wars Day. I'll take one more bite. I know I said I just wanted one, but I'll take another one. Really like the shimmery stuff on top. Yeah, it looks really cool. I would say I'd recommend coming out and getting it, but by the time this is up, it'll be gone. <laughs> so next May the 4th, if they have it, definitely come out and get it. We didn't know, but they had it available starting April 30th, or we probably would have come out even sooner. Um, but it's really delicious. We're gonna keep eating this thing. All right, well, I think we're gonna call it there. It was really fun. We were only at Hollywood Studios for a minute, and we came here for a minute too, but it was, it was good. I enjoyed the time that we had, um, and that treat was delicious. You really want to say it was quick and fun, don't you? I'm really trying hard not to say quick and fun. It's always quick and fun this evening. Well, okay, anyway. Was it quick and fun in your pajama shirt? We had a great time. <laughs> we hope you had a great time too. Make sure to subscribe and leave us a nice like and just tell us what your favorite thing about Star Wars is in the comments. Uh, we love Star Wars. We binged watch when it was uh, still new to us, uh, Clone Wars and Rebels. That's what made Brittany fall in love with Ahsoka. I was already in love. She was already in love, but that, that strengthened it. Yeah. So anyway, um, we are steak and potatoes. And we're living our happily ever after. May the force be with you and also with you. May the force be with you. That's what I said. You said force. May the force be with you <laughs> and also with you.